you're the economic eggheads, and today we'll be talking about the causes of economic growth. Now, economic growth is caused by two factors, an increase in aggregate demand and an increase in aggregate supply. Short-term economic growth is caused by an increase in aggregate demand. If there is a spare capacity in the economy, then an increase in aggregate demand will cause a higher level of real GDP. So Declan, take it away with the graph. This is one I made earlier. This is a graph showing increase in uh, aggregate demand. I'm also going to show you a simple equation which also shows this. Aggregate demand equals consumers plus investment plus government equals exports minus imports. Uh, that's very commonly used for showing aggregate demand. Okay. Aggregate demand will increase economic growth for the following reasons. Lower interest rates. Reduce the cost of borrowing and so encourages spending and investment. Increasing wages. High levels of disposable income which encourages consumer spending, therefore increasing output which expands the economy. Increased government spending is one of them. And the last one is falling value of sterling. Sterling makes exports cheaper and increases, uh, increases imports. Long-term economic growth requires an increase in long-run aggregate supply. Long-run aggregate supply can increase for the following reasons. Increased capital, for example, investments in new, in new factors or investments in infrastructures, such as roads and mobiles. Increasing working population, for example, through immigration and higher birth rate. Increasing labour productivity through better education and training or improved technology. To that point, take away the graph. This is a graph showing supply, supply side policies. Okay. Here we have the uh, average price, real output, aggregate demand, aggregate supply. Uh, the supply, supply uh, side policy, uh, the aggregate supply line shifts to the right. And as you can see here, we have a new line, um, which means that there's a decrease in inflation, as you can see here. But also, there is an increase in employment. As you can see here, so therefore, this is, uh, and due to that, uh, you get an increase in economic growth. Uh, so therefore, you are achieving three of your macro objectives. Uh, this is why this is one of the best policies for to achieve most of the macro objectives. Now, the reasons for economic growth are not just as simple as increasing demand and supply. For example, if a government decided to spend money in their economy. This increases demand and hence creates growth within their economy. On the other hand, if the government does not spend any money and hence taxes people less, the population have a higher disposable income, which again increases economic growth. This concludes our presentation on what causes economic growth to occur. Thanks for listening.